So in the early days of streaming, it used to be just amazing enough just to get the stream up that it wasn't dropping frames or constantly cutting out. But now these days you need to you know, have a streaming schedule, create clips, promote your content, have a social media plan, be on TikTok, Instagram, everything. And if you're not doing that, then this is the video for you because today on The Grind, we're going to talk about the things that you're forgetting to do while streaming. So unless you've been really disciplined with using your phone for only phone calls, you've probably noticed that everything is about short form content these days. You know, people are walking around their commute. They may not have time to watch a stream or they want to know some context about what something's about to follow it. It's more easily digestible. And, you know, the platforms recognize this. They almost all the streaming platforms support some type of clipping. And the reason why this is important is because, you know, when you're trying to sell yourself, you want to give something that's quick and easy, like a quick elevator pitch for yourself, you know? I mean, let's be real, most streams are dead air. So if someone's checking you out on your stream for the first time, it's highly unlikely something exciting is going to be happening. It might be you going to eat some food or, you know, it's just watching a cutscene. So you want to kind of entice them with the short form content and show them and try to get them, you know, to be interested in you. Now, I know it's going to be hard to clip yourself while you're streaming, but Hopefully you get some consistent viewers and you kind of just want to, you know, constantly tell them, especially when something happens, like make a clip, make a clip. And that way, when you're done, you review the clips. Most of the platforms will let you download the clips and then you promote them on your social media or you even make compilations to put up on YouTube. So speaking about promoting yourself on social media, this is really the key because all social media platforms have some type of algorithm or discovery method. And this is the only way you're really going to be found. The platform you're on may not have this. So you really need to take use of this as on many platforms as possible. And this means coming up with a social media plan. And no, it's not just getting that clip, writing a caption and posting it across all the accounts. You need to basically know what works well for each account. You know, does this account have some type of stories feature, putting the content together for that? And does this one need hashtags? What hashtags work? You need to really research what works best for each type of platform. And the good thing is, is that we created a bunch of videos, which you can see linked above to kind of teach you how to make content for that platform. I mean, your phone's really good, but when it comes to, you know, editing your clips and your gaming footage, you know, we have the software now with Xplit to basically quickly make this a media center to post your content wherever you like. Just, you know, make sure to spend some time to research like what hashtags work, how do I make my stuff more discoverable, and don't forget that clickbait. Now, pretty much for a lot of streaming formats and types, you're going to be sitting down quite a bit. And I think it's really important at least every hour to get up for a few minutes and walk around. Now, all the youngsters out there probably don't need to worry about this, but they should. But for all the grown folks like us, you need to get up. Your back will appreciate it. And it's good to have some circulation and movement around. Now, if you have a smartwatch, it can pretty much do this for you to tell you when to get up. But if not, you can actually set up a macro in like Xplit Broadcaster and it can basically say every hour to switch this scene. And it can be a scene that says, let's get up and jump around. This actually can be a fun element to add to your stream, you know, like get up neck goofy or get up and give me bits and stuff like that. And every hundred bits I run around even further. It's just something to do. And trust me, your doctor will appreciate it and your heart will appreciate it later. Just something to get up and move around a little bit. Now, if you've been working hard and grinding and you've finally made it to partnership status on a platform, you now have the glorious ad button. That means you can run ads and earn revenue from it. But I think a lot of streamers forget about this or think that it's not important, but every dollar counts and, you know, they don't run ads consistently unless they're part of a team that has a contract that requires them to run ads. But it's really important. You can automate this, run two, three minutes of ads every hour and you know, this can be part of like your get up and run around that we talked about earlier, but you can set something to actually trigger the ads and a lot of dashboards like Twitch will tell you, hey, you haven't ran an ad in over an hour or you're on an ad break now. It's really important. You're trying to make this sustainable. You know, sure, over time, this will be less and less and less. But when you're an up and coming streamer and, you know, you need to eat and stuff like that, ads help. So unless your content is actually watching paint dry, you kind of need to always be talking while you're streaming like the whole point of streaming is to sell yourself you're selling you you're not selling the game or overlays or graphics or a fancy camera 
you're selling you the person you're trying to get people to buy in and if someone comes and you're dead silent they're gonna leave right away unless i don't know maybe you're doing something wild on camera but if you're finding it hard to you know keep talking and keep the energy up especially if you're talking to no one which to be fair a lot of people will be doing when they first start their streaming career like if you're finding it hard to talk you know you need to use this as your practice to learn that talking skill and if you run out of energy in the first 30 minutes do some prep work help yourself like before every stream like an hour before every stream just browse reddit browse forums browse twitter browse whatever find funny videos funny links funny stories and put them in a doc and you know when you find you know that mental brain drain or even you know the game that you're talking about like find interesting things about the game like whenever you're finding like patch notes like whenever you think like i'm out of stuff to talk about just glance over look at your bullet points and be like oh yeah have you heard about this or there's this patch update here talk about that it'll really help you know keep your energy up keep your viewers engaging and also keep a big you know nice jug of water nearby it's really hard to be energetic and keep talking when you're really dehydrated now one last thing that i think a lot of people overlook or forget about is checking their analytics now i know certain sites have way more robust analytics than others but data is everything data is so important to helping you kind of determine where you go with your streaming career like you know you need to see hey you know am i getting more viewers during this time period should i also stream at this time other days uh am i getting more viewers when i play this game should i play more games like this more often all these little things are really important you know finding how much money you're making is really important this is usually in the dashboard like am i going to be able to pay rent next month always look at your data look at the trends look at where things are going and make sure to you know adjust your content to that it's it's really good to know when you need to pivot you know like unless you're just doing this as purely a hobby and it doesn't matter then why are you watching this video but also you know just use data to help make educated decisions on where you go next with your streaming career so as you can see streaming isn't as simple as it used to be it's not just firing up a stream anymore you need to have a plan going into this but i mean it should still be fun but you need to make sure that you know as long as you're considering this as a career you need to have you know goals and you know milestones and to be able to see growth and that'll give you more motivation makes it more fun especially when you get paid to do it but i want to know from you like what is your pre and post stream ritual and what advice would you give new streamers? And how about you? Are you streaming as a hobbyist or is, are you hoping that it's a career? Let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and share this video if it was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more ways that we can stay on that stream grind.